guys, it's Gus Love here, and welcome back to another Death Battle React video. This time it's gonna be Scrooge McDuck versus Shovel Knight. Now, from when I first heard that there was gonna be this kind of death battle, I was really confused, you know? Like, what's the reason behind that? Like, why Scrooge McDuck? And Shovel Knight. I even talked to I even talked to Jane, Jake's, Jake Hammerquist, sorry, um, on Twitter, and he mentioned something about them being both creatures or people who collect things. Well, Scrooge is not a person; he's a duck. And I still find it like weird. I really am not sure what's the reasoning behind it. So let's see if in the death battle there's a real explanation. Let's get to it. And sorry for the music in the background, that's my neighbors. The new title screen. Some people adventure for wealth. For others, the wealth is in the adventure. Ah, Drake. Either way, you'll be successful if you can bounce off your enemies' heads. Like Scrooge McDuck, the wealthiest waterfowl to ever live. Yeah, and I used to watch that show. A example of the code of chivalry. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills. So it's the wealth? Who would win a death battle. Yeah, all the old school pixels. In 1867, Scrooge McDuck was born to a poor family in Glasgow, Scotland. He grew up a relatively normal duckling until his 10th birthday. Scrooge's father took him to see the remains of the old McDuck clan castle. See, their family wasn't always super poor, and Scrooge was inspired by the sight of their former glory. So the next day, he got a job and earned his first money ever. A Aww. dime. Problem was, it was an American dime, and Scrooge was in Scotland. Naturally feeling pretty cheated, Scrooge swore he'd build his fortune by being, I quote, tougher than the tuppies and, and sharper, sharper than, than the, the sharpies. Tuppies. So he hopped over to America to start his quest for wealth. And judging by his money vault today, where he literally swims in gold, I'd say he did a pretty effing good job. No obstacle was too difficult to keep him from fortune. By my estimations, his entire net worth today rests around 300 quadrillion dollars. Dang! Rich as he is, he's gotta defend his treasure trove somehow. So this wealthy waterfowl's got more guns than I do. Not to mention the trusty cannons he has hidden around his manor. <laughs> Nothing like some old-fashioned artillery for boys. home defense. Scrooge also has a number of unorthodox high-tech firearms. Or as normal people call them, laser, laser guns. guns. My favorite is the one that can shoot through solid steel titanium. It's called the Burglar Stunner, but I'm pretty sure that'll do a hell of a lot more than stun you. It will well, kill my you. my favorite would be Scrooge's Neutra Friction and Anti-Inertia Rays. By removing a target's natural friction and inertia, these guns can turn a foe so slippery they can't grip anything, or take away all momentum from that foe's movement and weight. Without friction, a person will slide miles upon miles with no hope of stopping themselves. Hmm. Without inertia, a cannonball will have even less impact than falling leaves, though it is important to note that these guns do not affect personal gravity. Uh, yeah, science and stuff. Though if I were him, science. I'd remember the feel of one of his rifles or swords. Or his signature sidearm, the his cane. trusty cane. What's so special about a dusty old cane, you ask? Hey, don't well, say that to Sly Cooper. The old quack go. Not every duck can turn their cane into both a club and a pogo stick. Even when he's unarmed, Scrooge's thirst for wealth has pushed Damn. his body past many preconceived limits. He possesses incredible strength, speed, and durability. Not to mention, the dude's got some serious huevos. <laughs> One time when he was stuck in the savannah, he I'm not gonna translate to that. Beat it in a roaring match, and then just rode it all the way to town. He's also a surprisingly skilled marksman. Like some sort of gun-toting Mr. Miyagi, he can shoot flies out of the air with perfect precision. And he's no slouch with a blade. Apparently, Buffalo Bill taught him how to knife fight what? in... What? Uh, nah, 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 nah. Buffalo style. Bill is... Uh, Wait a minute. And now's a great time to remind you that Scrooge is pretty old. I, no, I've, it was a I'm confusing him with Paul Bunyan. Uh, racism aside, it takes a lot to put this mighty mallard down. He survived the Titanic sinking, being frozen <laughs> solid in the Yukon, fighting hordes of wild animals, and taking a cannon shot to the face before being dragged through a minefield. He's even survived a trip to the literal center of the earth. 
which, if you've forgotten, is pretty much super lava. That's putting it mildly. I never read the comic, so estimated to be well I don't know much about that. Degrees Fahrenheit. More than hot enough to cook your goose. He's outrun a cheetah, which can reach 75 miles per hour. He's stopped a charging water buffalo, which can weigh up to 2,600 pounds. Dang. And did you ever hear that legend where George Washington threw a silver dollar across the Potomac River? Well, Scrooge can do that, too. And he even caught the coin on the other side. Because Scrooge isn't going to waste a single dollar. Seems pretty impressive, but Scrooge has some massively problematic flaws. Least of all is his age. He's 150 years old. That won't do him Dang. anything. Dang. And why can't he fly? I mean, he's, he's a, a duck. duck with his own private plane, and he has human teeth. And they really should just hire a poultry scientist at Disney. <laughs> oh, I'll send my resume. <laughs> well, do it. More do importantly, it. would be his overpowering greed. He can often lose sight of his goals or explode into an uncontrollable Yeah, I remember rage that from the from, from the show. Well. He is pretty selfish. I remember in th mind. this one episode with Cyrus. The uncontrollable rage part, though, is such a bad thing. Certainly not in some situations. Like the time Soapy Slick tried to rip Scrooge off, steal his property, and humiliate him by chaining him to a steamboat and making fun of his letters from home, including one informing Scrooge of his mother's passing. That's oh. more than enough to piss Scrooge off. So much that he literally tore the entire boat apart with his bare hands. Oh, Wait. Holy. holy damn, that's a real foul strength. Just goes to show that nothing can stand between Scrooge and his wealth. I don't know which was wilder in those days. The wolves or me? You. Yeah. Get! <laughs> Shovel Knight! The world was quiet, and adventurers roamed the land, the most famous of whom were partners Shield Knight and Shovel Knight. You can tell how good they are, but Jack Plow's a loop behind them. Shovel Knight and Shield Knight travel. Yeah, it has to be the wolf. The stuff of legend, that is, until the tower. Once inside, a cursed amulet knocked Shovel Knight out cold. When he woke up, Shield Knight was gone and the tower was sealed Aww. shut. And boy, did that bum him out. So like all depressed heroes, he abandoned everything and went to the wilderness to do a bunch of farming and most likely drinking. Soon after, he retired an evil woman called the Enchantress took Enchantress! <laughs> If 
the game weren't that difficult, like super mega difficult, I might play it. Okay, 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 before the death battle. This is gonna be a really, 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 really tough choice. Oh, I wanna say Shovel Knight is gonna win since he has armor, he has the strength, but hey, Scrooge McDuck also has strength. I mean, come on. And a, lot, a buttload of items. Like, both of them have a buttload of items. And, yeah, it's, <coughs> it's gonna be tough. You know, choosing between who's the one who's gonna win. Oh ho ho. Who do I choose? Who do I choose? <laughs> My brain is like telling me, go with Shovel Knight. Like, ugh, go with Shovel Knight. But then again, I did the same with Bane and I lost. Like, my vote lost. Um. Should I go with Scrooge? <laughs> okay, uh, this is gonna be a rare one for me, so I'm gonna go with no vote. Like, legit, no vote. This is something rare for me. No vote. Let's see what happens. Hopefully it becomes epic. Alright, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate uh,
Because you're watching Death Battle, you can get three meals free with free shipping by heading to blueapron.com forward slash battle. Seriously, you will love how good it feels and tastes to create incredible home cooked meals with Blue Apron. So don't wait. That's blueapron.com forward slash battle. <laughs>
death battle with voice acting if the other character did not have any voices? Or did any of the other death battles in which there was only one character that talked and the other one didn't? Was there any death battles of, of, of that? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I should have voted for the duck. Remember when I said that I was leaning more to Shovel Knight and I should have chosen Scrooge McDuck? Because last time I lost, uh, I should have done that, but nope, I decided to stay out of it, like, like keep it open. <laughs> that was a that was a good surprise. Like I I liked it. <laughs> it. I really like how they went from like inside the manor to the vault. I found that I found that really cool. Uh, uh, what else to say? It was fun. I liked it. <laughs> mm, okay, so. If I'm not mistaken, let's see who else is in the thing. Uh, let's see. Death Battle. Uh, let's see which other ones. I think I'm gonna do uh, Jack and Daxter versus uh, Ratchet and Clank next. You know, before the next Death Battle with... Uh, who was it again? With the Power Rangers. Uh, if by the time I release this video, they already announced who is gonna fight against the Power Rangers, then please don't don't be like, oh, you you did not do the thing. I'm recording this right after Bane versus Venom, so yeah, this is like an early video, so there's an explanation as to why if by any chance Voltron is not fighting the Power Rangers, I'm gonna be like like disappointed, not pissed, disappointed. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Next time it's gonna be Jack, Jack and Daxter versus Ratchet and Clank, unless there's something else before that. So with that said, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Take care of yourselves. Okay, let's see, who is next? I need to make sure... Okay, the Pinkie Pie and... Yeah, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who did I skip? Who did I skip? I need to be sure. Okay, yeah, okay. Okay, uh, I think Dante versus Bayonetta I did not do. No, okay, okay, scratch that. I'm doing Dante versus Bayonetta next. If if it's already up, then it's already up. If not, it's, it's going. Okay, so next death battles are gonna be Dante versus Bayonetta, Bowser versus Ganon, Ratchet and Clank versus Jack and Daxter. Uh, I already did those three. Meta versus Caroline. Uh, is it Carolina or Carolina? I don't know. Cammy versus Sonia. I think I already did the Ken versus Terry. If not, I'm gonna upload it. No, wait, I did. Uh, Amy versus Rose. I already did. Hulk versus Doomsday. I did not do. So I'm gonna do that too. Lara Croft versus Nathan Drake, which was the one. Death Battle I was excited for this new season. So that's gonna be the order. I'm gonna go from Dante vs. Bayonetta, continuing with the other videos that I did not react to, up until Tomb Raider vs. Uncharted, aka Lara Croft vs. Nathan Drake. Yeah, I'm gonna do that while waiting for the other... <laughs>